One of the biggest challenges that insurance agencies face today is not having their accounting streamlined. Folks, it's 2022 and there are a lot of things that you could be doing to receive payments more quickly and to pay people more securely and faster. If you want to know what those are, stick around. Hey folks, Jim Schubert, Agents Growth Academy. I'm your headmaster and I hope you are ready to grow big or go home. Today, I'm excited to share with you three ways to streamline your insurance agency's accounting. So let's dive right into it. Uh, number one is to collect agency bill receivables through online payment processing. Now, a lot of you may be doing this, but a lot of you may have technology that's outdated and maybe you're paying a whole lot more than you should be to do this. It used to be more expensive to collect online payments, but today we are excited as a podcast to welcome our newest and our first partner of Agents Growth Academy, which is ePay Policy. So I'm excited to tell you about that as a first solution. The problem that a lot of agencies are having are chasing down payments and just waiting for those to come in. You know the drill. You've got everything set up. The client says yes. They sign on the dotted line. You say, I'm going to send you an invoice and then silence. And then it's a series of email follow-ups and phone calls and, oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'll get to that. You know, I just, I'm so busy. Uh, I keep forgetting when I get home at night. You can eliminate all that back and forth and the waiting by implementing something like ePay policy. Um, ePay, if you didn't know, collects, uh, helps your agency collect online payments a whole lot faster via ACH and credit card. Literally, all you do is set up the invoice to be paid. You shoot the client a link. And just like anything else that you're doing today in the 21st century, you're clicking that link and you're paying online via your bank or your credit card. And so when the client does that, then the money comes in to your agency because of ePay policy working in the background. Um, I'll tell you a quick story that I heard recently. There was a client that was getting ready to sell and they were located, I, I can't remember if it was the Midwest or somewhere on the East Coast, but they're getting ready to sell and they told the agent, okay, we're, you know, we're done. Go ahead and cancel the policies. Agent complied, did that, didn't hear anything for a couple months until out of the blue, the client called back and said, oh my gosh, we need to get the insurance back in place ASAP. Not only did we not sell, we opened a location in Washington State and that's where we are now. So the producer, not realizing their agency had ePay policy, maybe they were a new producer and they didn't realize that. I think that was the case. Um, got an email from the account manager and said, everything's set up. Um, you know, just go ahead and, and collect that payment. Well, the producer, not realizing that they had the ability to use ePay policy, said, what do you mean? I can't just pop over to Washington State. That's like a few states away. It's going to, she's like, no, 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 no. Just send them this link and then have them pay it. So the producer sent the link. Uh, the client paid it within an hour and they, I think they paid in full. So the agency had the money, boom, like that. Um, it's a great story. I, uh, we have set up 80% of our agency bill uh, payments are now being paid through ePay policy. Uh, that was a far cry from what we were doing. We've been using them for about um, probably eight years now. And it was just, it was a nightmare. And if you don't have an online payment processing uh, system that you're using, you know what I mean. Um, yes, we're still receiving checks from insureds. Um, you know, that there's some people that just feel like the security of paying online is, is too risky. I would argue that sending a check through the mail is equally, if not more risky because you're literally putting your bank account information out in your mailbox for anyone to take, uh, along, you know, along the way from the mailbox, your mailbox to their mailbox, it could be stolen and that's bad news. Um, give you another story real quick. Um, a client 
sent a check recently to us through their bank's bill pay. So, you know, if you have Bank of America, whoever, you can go in and pay your bills. So that's how they sent their check. They didn't actually write out a check. And it has now taken, uh, I, I checked with our accounting manager today. She said, it's that was 10 days ago. And now that client is calling us freaking out because we haven't received it. And they're thinking it's our fault. We're saying, no, 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 we, we just, we haven't received it. There's nothing we can do. Um, we did offer to send them the ePay policy link. They declined. And so this is what we're faced with. Now we can't bind that policy because the producer actually doesn't want to be on the hook for this one. <laughs> so I don't blame them. So we can't bind that. And we're, we're really, unfortunately, in this case, the client is kind of putting themselves in a bad situation. We tried to offer ePay policy to send them that link, but uh, they didn't want to. Um, and I talked with this accounting manager. Hopefully this is going to get... Uh, you know, figured out pretty quickly. I think ultimately, ultimately the client may just say, okay, fine, send the link. But, uh, I love this quote. Our agency, uh, our agency's head of, uh, accounting said to me just yesterday, sending checks through snail mail is like playing the slot machines. <laughs> I was like, I love that. It's such a great analogy. It's, uh, or metaphor. It's, it's yes, it, it is. You're like, it's like playing the slots. You're just gambling. All right, number two way to streamline your agency's accounting today. Start paying your vendor and carrier payables through ACH. Are you still sending checks? Are you? Now, I'll say we are for a few of them because some of them still aren't allowing us to set up ACH payments. It's driving us crazy. The problem is, again, checks arriving late or slow in the mail or not at all. That is a big issue. Uh, so the solution is to start paying your vendors um, and start paying your carriers either through e-check uh, if your bank offers that uh, or through ACH and uh, or, or if you want to use a credit card, but it's just some means other than check, paper check, right? Um, we have since... I think it's been about two or three years now. We were kind of went on a crusade to get all of our vendors and our carriers set up uh, as as many as we could via ACH or eCheck, uh, or if that wasn't available, credit card. Which, by the way, credit card. Uh, if you're not, if you don't have something like an American Express business credit card, uh, you are missing out. This is not an ad for American Express. They're not a partner of the podcast, but. Um, we have racked up so many points and miles over the years. It's insane. So it, for the ones, any vendor that you have to pay a credit card, that's the only means or the safest means. Uh, they don't offer ACH or whatever. Um, I would highly recommend setting that up. But we in our crusade over the last couple of years have now set up over 90% on ACH. And for us, what that's doing is giving us peace of mind that we're not, waiting on checks to arrive to our, our carriers. Okay. Um, here's a true story. This happened a couple of years ago. It's actually happened a couple of times, but we were able to avoid it in both cases. But um, we were late paying a carrier, not because we just got the payment out late. We sent it. And like I've explained, it got hung up in the mail. And it didn't arrive and we had to call and call and call and find out if they had it. Um, finally, they threatened to freeze our binding authority. Okay, that is a scary thing because it wasn't just for the accounts that we had on the books with them. Uh, it, it, obviously, binding authority insinuates that it's something you're going to bind, right? Um, it, it was for the entire agency the entire agency, they were going to freeze our binding authority and they were going to stop paying us our direct bill commissions, right? We're trying to send them agency bill payments and they said, all right, fine. We're going to cut off your ability to bind new business with us and stop paying you. We're not going to send you your next direct bill payment, uh, your direct bill commissions. We were freaking out. Ultimately, it got worked out. Um, I think the most recent one was a still, it was a carrier that was not allowing us to set up ACH. 
um, driving us absolutely crazy. The thing about e-check, by the way, if if you, I would say that that is almost like the last resort in terms of alternatives to paper check coming from your agency because it's still going through the mail, right? So ACH offers that fastest way of getting money um, from your agency to whoever it needs to go to. All right, number three, way to streamline your agency's accounting. Receive your commissions through direct deposit. The problem, okay, carriers are slow to pay sometimes. Same issues that we've talked about already uh, with mail, but sometimes they're just slow in getting payments out themselves, even getting them in the mail. Uh, and sometimes it does get lost in the mail. The solution, okay, are you set up on direct deposit for your paycheck? I am. Actually, we require everyone in our agency to be set up on direct deposit for this very reason, because we need to make sure that the money gets to them. One of the worst things you know is if you're an agency owner or a manager dealing with HR and payroll, one of the worst things you could possibly do is mess with someone's money, right? From an employee standpoint, it's no different receiving money from your carriers. So the solution is to set them up Set those carriers up to, to receive your commissions on direct deposit, just like you do with your paycheck. We now get paid faster than ever. We're not having that delay. Even when mail's moving at a normal pace, there's still that couple of days delay. You could be getting your commissions a lot faster than that. Um, we now have, I think, 80% of our carriers set up, set up on direct deposit. It, it is a time-consuming process because you do have to contact each one of them, fill out a form. You get it done. But once you get it done, it's set, right? Unless you change your bank account information. Um, we don't have to wait for checks to arrive anymore. Our accounting department, and I'm sure a lot of yours are like this as well. Like when we go and reconcile the direct bill statements, we have to have the statements. We have to see the commission in our bank account to be able to reconcile that and make sure that we got what we're expecting to get from the carrier. And then for in our agency, we then send, we wait until that's done before we send the producers their production reports from, from, sorry, from the prior month to review and make sure that their commissions were accurate, that what we received is what they're expecting to receive. So we can now do that for them sooner so that we're not waiting right up until payroll to you know try to extract, like, please, please, please review that report. Um, here's a story for you. We had a carrier recently call us to start uh, asking us to, to ask us to sign something saying that we hadn't received their check because they needed to be able to send out a replacement check, right? I mean, this is ridiculous, folks. Like, we, we, we've got to get stuff set up on direct deposit. And uh, I don't know if that carrier just, they, they probably don't offer it. Um, but carriers have got to get with the program here. Um, Folks, again, three ways to streamline your agency's accounting. Number one, collect agency bill receivables through online payment processing like our newest partner, ePay Policy. Number two, pay vendor and carrier payables via ACH. Uh, E-check is fine, but that's kind of a last resort. Uh, of course, credit card if, if ACH is not available. And then number three, receive commissions through direct deposit just like you do your paycheck. Folks, if this episode was helpful, I really hope that you would share it. Uh, and I also hope that you would go and leave us an honest review on Apple Podcasts. That's where most people are consuming this podcast. And what that does for me when you leave a review is, number one, it gives me some great feedback as to what what's working, what's not working, what you like, what you want to hear more of. Uh, it also helps the algorithm of uh, Apple Podcasts to get this out to more agents who would otherwise want to hear this information. Folks, uh, I really appreciate you being with me today. Until next time, grow big or go home.